and the wind. It's not as breezy as, as it was earlier. It's still a bit of a breeze out there. You can see in some spots it is 10 to 15 miles per hour, but some spots have already dropped down below 10 miles per hour. So that's good news. Now we have a cold front approaching and there are different ways that you can see a cold front. Let's first talk about the satellite radar composite. You can kind of see this little stripe here, this little line right here. So that's that's a cold front. You can see this with the precipitation of the snow. You can see kind of a pretty sharp line here. So that's all ahead of the cold front and this stuff is moving to the east. But there's another way to look for a cold front. And that's looking for a wind shift. And you can see right now our wind is blowing from the southwest here and to get back across with, uh, into Wisconsin across the lake here. You can see this wind is blowing from the northwest. So yeah, there's a cold front back here and that front is going to make it through here tonight, but it's going to come through with uh, reasonably little fanfare and you'll see that here on the computer model. So this is some high cloudiness that we have now. You'll see the clouds going to increase ahead of the front, but then once the front gets here, it's like ho hum. There's nothing going on with it, just that wind shift. And in fact, once the front goes by, we'll break up that cloud cover. Now tomorrow there's going to be another front approaching, so we're going to increase the cloud cover, maybe see some breaks down to the south by the end of the afternoon. But for most of us, it'll be a mostly cloudy day after we start off with partial sunshine. And then tomorrow night, this next front comes in. Uh, a few snow showers with it, nothing that'll have any impact whatsoever. That moves through and then we start breaking up the cloud cover once again and we'll end the day with more sunshine on Wednesday. So basically two cold fronts in two days with very minimal impact. It's what's coming in at the end of the week that is going to have more impact. We'll talk about that in a second. So 25 the overnight low with the clouds increasing, then decreasing later on tonight as that front moves through. And then tomorrow we start off partly cloudy, but I think we become mostly cloudy after that. High temperature 38 degrees and the winds be not as strong as today. We're talking maybe 7 to 12 miles per hour. So as I mentioned, we're dry all the way through Wednesday. Thursday, there could be a snowflake. We have a warm front coming through, but happy Festivus, by the way. On Friday, we'll start the day dry, but then a pretty solid area of rain comes in for Christmas Eve. So if people are driving in Christmas Eve, they're going to deal with that. Christmas Day, breezy but dry. And then for the start of Kwanzaa on Sunday, a dry day as well. And by the way, tomorrow, 1058 in the morning is the winter solstice. Our part of the Earth, the northern hemisphere, tilted the farthest it's going to tilt away from the sun. The least amount of daylight we get nine hours and five minutes of daylight. That is six hours less than what we get on the summer solstice. So 1058 tomorrow morning, light a candle guys or do something. <laughs> All right. I'll just pray for a quick spring. Yeah.